I was not straight and am now lesbian. I was never straight and I'm not lesbian. Open up, you open up. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Hannah. I'm Sadie. And we're not straight. And today's video is something we've been planning for months. We want to talk about bi erasure. That is bisexuality erasure. Um, I'm bisexual, so that's where this is coming from. We've experienced a lot of this um, since starting a YouTube channel specifically and since spending a lot more time in LGBTQ plus communities, I would mm -hmm. say. Um, so we want to talk about it. Um, I'm going to start off with a definition just to give you an idea if you have no idea what it's about. Um, bi erasure is the tendency to ignore, remove, falsify, or re-explain evidence of bisexuality in the news media, in academia, and any other primary source. So in its most extreme form, bi erasure can take the form of denying that bisexuality itself exists at all. Um, this is really hurtful, it's really damaging, and it has hugely adverse effects on the bisexual population. Um, there was a study published a few years ago that found that bisexual people have higher rates of anxiety and depression and are more likely to consider or attempt suicide um, than their gay or lesbian peers. So this is a huge, this is a huge issue and it's very deeply personal to me, so we want to talk about it. Yeah. So just for context, we have both experienced this like firsthand in a bunch of different spaces because of all of those personal instances of bi erasure that we've experienced. We wanted to share kind of our perspective on it and hopefully do our part to combat that in our everyday lives uh, as well as with this platform that we have and hopefully share kind of good reason for you guys to do the same thing. Yeah help each other out, you know? Yeah. So that brings me to the first thing I want to talk about, which is that people seem to understand that sexuality is along a spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, at least, well, especially people in the LGBTQ community seem to understand that. And yet, <laughs> that implies that anyone, aside from 100% straight or 100% gay or lesbian, is bisexual. Bisexual is the in-between. It's mm -hmm. everything except those two extremes, and that implies that most of the world would be somewhere along that spectrum and would identify technically as bisexual. Mm -hmm. So that alone kind of blows my mind um, in realizing that bisexual people are way less likely to come out um, for fear of not being accepted or being told that it's a phase. Um, yeah. So that's something we wanted to talk about too. Yeah, so in coming out as gay, lesbian, uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, but you were with a man before, so doesn't that make you bisexual? Mm -hmm. And I've said, no, that it doesn't. And my previous experiences, while valid and while I honor those and, and feel that they were very important in shaping who I am, don't factor into my sexuality right now. It's not like the average. Um, I don't take the average of like all of my experiences and then yeah. decide what my sexuality is. Um, I decide what my sexuality is based on what I feel uh, like romantically, sexually, physically, emotionally attracted to. And because of those preferences, I identify as gay, lesbian. And I've had a lot of people, especially on YouTube, have said, mm -hmm. um, did you pass through bisexual or did you consider yourself bisexual? But just because I had a relationship with a man, a romantic and like emotional and physical and sexual relationship with a man mm -hmm. does not mean that I am like not gay. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I don't get to, <laughs> that I don't get to decide that I'm gay. And it doesn't mean that I'm bi. And I think that that notion that because I went from dating a man and being with a man to being with a woman, making me bi is kind of a disservice to people who are bisexual because it's not just the result of your experiences, it's a product of what you believe to be true for yourself and how you mm -hmm. identify. 
Yeah, so the idea of bi as a transitional phase I've found to be pretty damaging and is yeah. even in the limited representation that we have as a community um, is one of the like tropes and storylines. <laughs> like, for instance, in The L Word, lesbians were joking about how their female friend was bi and in time she would end up lesbian. Yeah. Um, which I find super disrespectful, and I've heard even in our own communities, and I know that people don't mean it to be, people don't mean to be damaging, and they don't mean to be disrespectful, mm -hmm. but that's the outcome yeah. um, for people who are bi. That's pretty weird. It's pretty weird to be told that who you are isn't valid, and can't be real, and is just a phase. And it's gonna change. With and it'll change, and yeah. just you wait, like I know better than you do. So that's been really hard. <laughs> Um, and another thing that I think is a big piece to talk about in the context of the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. um, is the idea that bisexual people don't truly fit there. Yeah. Um, and we also certainly aren't straight either, so we aren't totally welcomed, open-armed into the straight community either. Mm -hmm. um, so it can feel like you're floating in this weird in-between. Um, I don't know that many people who are bi, or at least who are out yeah. by, um, which again seems weird considering it's probably most of the population. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> um, but I want to reiterate that it is separate from both of those things. Um, so for those of you who are watching this and just don't understand how it's possible that someone could be bi, which is valid. If you've never met anyone, yeah. I totally get it. I can tell you. Um, I had a really awesome relationship with a man. Um, I was sexually attracted to him. We had a true romantic connection and it was incredible and we weren't a great fit in the end. Um, I'm with Sadie now and it's incredible and we have a beautiful relationship and it's romantic and it's sexual and that's also real for me. Both of those are real. One is not better than the other. They are different. Mm -hmm. They are both valid. And I was not straight and am now lesbian. I was never straight and I'm not lesbian. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm, I've yeah. been bisexual the whole time <laughs> and people can believe me or not believe me, but I will continue to reiterate that yeah. till the cows come home. I think one of the things that is really challenging for us as a society is the fact that we don't have language around bisexual people who are in a relationship. If it's a male and female relationship, people mm -hmm. say it's a straight relationship, even though maybe both of those people are bi, and probably mm -hmm. are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and if it's two women in a relationship or two men in a relationship, regardless of how they identify, mm -hmm. it's a gay relationship or a lesbian relationship or whatever. So I think that there's a challenge that we maybe have around language and how we express like what what we would call that relationship to honor both of the people who are in it and honor how they identify. Yeah, instead of calling it straight presenting. Like, I could present yeah. as straight, certainly, but that wouldn't be true to who I am. Yeah, maybe that's a better, maybe that's a less presumptuous way to, like, categorize a relationship is, mm -hmm. like, a straight presenting relationship or a lesbian presenting yeah. relationship. Yeah. To like, acknowledge the fact that you don't know what the sexualities of the people who are in the relationship yeah. are. I feel like I get a lot of mixed reaction when I say that I'm bi, um, especially around the idea of like, oh, you're trying to become lesbian YouTube famous, or oh mm -hmm. my gosh, welcome to the club, you're dating a woman, finally, like, yay, lesbians unite. And I'm like, well, I'm bi. And they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, you can be in the club okay. anyway. <laughs> like, oh, okay, well. We yeah, can just pretend. <laughs> I suppose it's like a cycle, you know, like mm -hmm. because there aren't many people who are mm -hmm. out by people who are like respected as such. Yeah, uh, a lot, a lot of people don't come out as bi because they don't want to be like either shoved back in the closet and assumed and presumed straight yeah. or like outed as gay or lesbian because it's easier. Because it's not. Yeah, yeah. I've it's easier I've said this to Sadie before. It. Sometimes I wish that I were just lesbian because it would be easier to explain 
um, people have like an image that they can place on that to understand it. Um, for some reason, people have a really hard time understanding anything that's not binary. That's true. Yeah. So. But look at this face. Look at this cute little bi face. My little bi face. Don't oh. you not want her to be anything that she's not? Oh, I've never felt so honored. That was really <laughs> cute. Uh, but it makes me want to say it all the time, just to normalize it, to get it out there. It's real and it's not voyeurism, it's not for attention, right. it's not a phase, it's not, uh, it's not just like a test or college experiment. Yeah. I mean, props to NSYNC, you know. <laughs> Help. I don't wanna be a bully. I'm just another player in your game for two. Oh my god, what if that whole song was about something else? <laughs> what and if it was it just was, spelled wrong? Yeah, what if it was bye bye bye? Oh my god. sync. if you're out there and you're watching this, could you clarify? It ain't no lie. <laughs> bisexual, bye bye bye. bisexual, bisexual. <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> Is that the dance? Is that what they do? Cause you know, that's bye. <laughs> I thought this was like Baby Shark. Bisexuals unite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can we make a bi handshake? Just like a... Oh my god, it's perfect for it's quarantine like a, life right it's now. It's like a wink. Just like... like... <laughs> <laughs> you do it hotter than me. Thank you. I mean... <laughs> all the reason for that. <laughs> I don't love doing videos that might seem negative and I don't want this to be negative. I want it to be more of a like, I'm bisexual. If you're out there and you're bi, tell me about it. Yeah. I want to hear about it. I want to hear from you. Um, and everyone else, I want you to respect those people. Mm -hmm. um, and I want you to understand that it's real and it's valid and it's awesome. Yeah. What were you going to say? I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, and on maybe a final note, this is super important to us because of all the reasons that Hannah identified and just to kind of like give it some context, uh, with other issues that we have talked about before and that you maybe have, have heard of before, being bisexual is valid. It's real. If you are bisexual, you are valid and we honor that part of your identity whether it's the most prominent piece of your identity and that's what you want to put out there for the world to see or whether it's just a piece of you that you don't feel like sharing with people, that's totally fine and it's real and you don't have to hide it. Um, we want to see more bisexual people portrayed in the media. Um, mm -hmm. We want to hear about more people who are bisexual like in their just in their personal average everyday life um, mm -hmm. because it's so important to see yourself portrayed in the people around you and in the people that you see in magazines or read about in books or whatever or on YouTube or on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> just like it's really important for us to see people of different sexualities out there in the world just living their normal lives and not adhering to this heteronormative like oppressive system that kind of tries to put us in a box um, just like it's important to see people of different races in movies and be the protagonist in every kind of story and just like it's super important for us to see women as like high powered like business people and as the like the hero in a movie and every everything we want to see all of it we want to see all of it we want to see <clears throat> bisexual people represented in our everyday life um, more than we do now and we feel really passionately about that and so if you have um content like stories or or movies or books or whatever that feature bisexual people tell us we want to hear about it um and as a small little thing that you can do in your everyday life um if someone comes out to you as bi uh, honor that celebrate that in the way that they feel most comfortable with um mm -hmm. don't tell them that it's just a phase don't if they're dating like, a woman are you gonna leave her for a man? Yeah, don't ask if they're gonna go back to men. It's not it's not about that. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's about who they're with right now. Yeah. And it's about just honoring their decisions um, to be who who they feel most comfortable being. And uh, yeah, that's what we wanna do. So um, 
for those of you who have shared with us that you are bi, um, we're really grateful for you. And <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's doing a handshake, so if you're watching this and you want to do it back to the camera, we can't mm -hmm. see it, but we can feel it for it. <laughs> yeah, we can feel it. <laughs> oh my god, we should like Hashtag create bi vibes. an emoji. There's got to be a way. I'm trademarking that right now. So if you like this video, um, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, we're here on Sundays and Wednesdays putting out hella good content for mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and every other Friday with a little music. Yeah. Cool. We love you. Thank you for being here. You're the best. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Till next time. <laughs> no, we no, have to say time, bye. Till next time. Bye. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>